Good morning students. Welcome back to SST class of 7th. In our previous video, we had completed the revision of chapter number 1 that is the medieval India. Okay? And I hope all of you have under understood it very well. Okay? Now, today we will start a new chapter revision that is chapter number 2 of history, rise of new kingdoms. Okay? So, during the early medieval period, we studied that during medieval period, many dynasties came. So, a number of powerful rulers existed in India during the early medieval period and it existed from 700 CE to 1200 CE. So, early medieval period ke time, bohat sari powerful dynasties existence mein aai. Or, जो dynasties आई और रूल की उनका time period क्या था 700 CE CE means common era to 1200 CE so they ruled for near about 500 years okay now if we will see what are the important uh, kingdoms or the ruling kingdoms of the north India so they are the first one is origin of Rajput Rajput is derived from a Sanskrit word which means Rajputra. So Rajput Sanskrit word se liya gaya hai jiska matlab hota hai Rajputra, Raja ka putra. Okay? And they ruled from 750 CE to 1000 CE. Okay? Now, the Tomars, the city of Delika, now called as Delhi, was founded by Tomars in 8th century. Then, other powerful dynasty is the Chauhans. They ruled around the areas of Delhi and Ajmer. Okay. Then the Solankis. They were popularly known as Chalukyas of Gujarat. Then the Parmaras. They were famous rulers and they established the kingdom near Malwa. Or they had their kingdom Malwa ke paas established here. Then Garwalas. They ruled the region around the Kannauj, which was Kannauj ka area, tha, that was looked after the Garwalas. Then the Chandelas, they ruled around the Bundel Khand. And the last one, the Gurjar Katiharas, they ruled over the parts of Western India and Central India. So these were some powerful dynasties that were found in North India. The rulers and kingdoms in the Deccan. So, the Deccan, it was the region between the rivers Krishna and Narmada. So, Deccan was the region between the river Krishna and Narmada. And the following dynasties ruled this region. Or, kaun kaun si dynasties thi, jinnone Deccan region mein rule kiya. The first one was Rashtrakutas. They ruled over 200 years and they dominated Maharashtra region from 750 to 9. 170 CE. So, they ruled nearly Maharashtra for 200 years and their reign of period was 750 to 970 CE. What is CE? CE is common era. Danti Marman was the founder of this dynasty and Danti Varman was the founder of this dynasty. Then, the Chalukyas the most famous ruler of this dynasty was Vik Vikramanka. Okay? Now, the Kakatiyas, they ruled from 12th to 13th century near the Krishna and Godavari rivers. Okay? They ruled the areas which were the, near the Krishna and Godavari rivers. Now, the next one is the Yadwas. Bilamma founded the kingdom in the 12th century. Bilamma, he founded the kingdom in 12th century. Okay. Now, the Hothalyas, they ruled over Karnataka and were the most powerful rulers and the most powerful king was Vishnu Vardhan. Okay. Now, so these were some rulers that were, uh, you can say, they ruled over the Deccan kingdom during the early medieval period. Now, the tripartite struggle. What do you mean by the tripartite struggle? Tri means three and 
ट्रिपार्टाइट मीन्स थ्री पार्टी ऐसा स्ट्रगल या कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जो तीन पार्टी के बीच में हुआ उसे हम ट्राई पार्टाइट स्ट्रगल कहेंगे द मेन रीजन फॉर द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वॉज द सिटी ऑफ कन्नौज और मेन रीजन इस स्ट्रगल या कॉन्फ्लिक्ट का क्या था द सिटी ऑफ कन्नौज इन द गंगा वैली जो कि कहा लोकेटेड थी इन गंगा वैली द रूलर्स ऑफ गुर्जर प्रतिहारा राष्ट्रकुटा एंड पाला डायनेस्टी फोर्ट फॉर द कंट्रोल एंड वेल्थ ऑफ कन्नौज और थ्री रूलर्स जो थे कौन कौन से थे पाला राष्ट्रकुटा एंड गुर्जर प्रतिहारा उन तीनों किंग या कह सकते हैं उनके किंगडम्स के बीच में ये कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हुआ टू गेन द डोमिनेशन ओवर द कन्नौज सिटी बिकॉज कन्नौज वॉज द सेंटर ऑफ वेल्थ एंड पावर तो तीनों को वो कन्नौज सिटी पे अपना कंट्रोल डोमिनेशन दिखाना था तो इन्हीं तीनों डायनेस्टीज या किंगडम्स के बीच में जो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट या स्ट्रगल हुआ उसी को हम ट्राई पार्टाइट स्ट्रगल कहते हैं द मुस्लिम इन्वेडर्स फ्रॉम नॉर्थ वेस्ट मीन्स the foreigner invaders who were muslim by religion so in this we will study about the two foreign invaders that is mahmud of ghori and mahmud of ghazni okay so let's read mahmud of ghazni mahmud of ghazni was a muslim foreign invader and he wanted to make ghazni as his kingdom he wanted to rule over the kingdom and ghazni is a place in present day afghanistan so for this he needed lot of wealth aur usne suna tha ki india is a very rich country the northern india is very rich so he wanted to get the wealth and resources so that's why he attacked india how many times 17 times usne india pe 17 times raid kiya and he attacked and he attacked between 1000 to 1025 ce okay then he extended his control over parts of central asia iran and north western part of the subcontinent the ghorids the ghori were also a foreign invader he was also a foreign foreign invader from ghor That is a small kingdom in present day Afghanistan. ठीक है तो वो भी क्या था एक foreign invader था Afghanistan से from a place called Ghor. Okay? And he also invaded India many times to get the wealth of India. Now, the battles of Tarain. Battle of Tarain is a famous battle that occurred between the forces of Prithviraj Chauhan and Mahmud Ghori so we know that Tehran is a place that is 80 miles away from Delhi so this battle was fought between Prithviraj Chauhan and Mahmud Ghori okay so what happened what was the consequence result of this battle the in the first battle Prithviraj defeated to Mahmud Ghori so in the first battle Mahmud Ghori was defeated by Prithviraj Chauhan and in the second battle mahmud ghori defe- defeated prithviraj chauhan so one time prithviraj chauhan won and one time mahmud ghori but finally at the last what happened with this victory mahmud ghori became the master of delhi and eastern rajasthan okay so this is about the battle of terrain so in today's class we studied about the rise of new kingdoms in the early medieval period so we studied about the kingdoms of north india then the kingdoms of deccan and about some foreign invaders okay so in our upcoming video we will be studying about the rest of the topic so children i hope you all have understood the chapter very well okay so Today's homework is you have to write these answers in your homework copy in a very neat and clean handwriting and apart from that learn all the exercises learn all the key terms and question or answers of the chapter because from coming next month your term one examinations are going to start so question number 1 is what does word rajput mean 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हु वॉज द मोस्ट पावरफुल सोलन की रूलर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज हु फाउंडेड द पाला डायनेस्टी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज एक्सप्लेन द ट्राई पार्टाई स्ट्रगल ओके देन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज नेम द फोर किंगडम्स ऑफ डेकैन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नेम द मोस्ट फेमस रेड बाय महमूद ऑफ गजनी इन इंडिया children i have observed that most of the students are not waving or watching the video completely and properly so please watch the video completely so that you can get the thorough knowledge of the taught topic and i hope that everybody will do so okay so thank you and have a great day